Our goal is to set up a Google Kubernetes engine cluster on Google Cloud Platform and deploy an app on it using AI with natural language prompts. This is what our deployment architecture looks like. We have a private GKE cluster with a node pool that spans across two availability zones and it has four nodes with two nodes in each zone. There is a load balancer to distribute incoming requests and a cloud NAT service to allow for outgoing internet connectivity. We are going to follow these six steps that is generate application, create a Docker file for the app, build a Docker image, create Terraform scripts, deploy to GCP and finally tear down infrastructure. Remember that our focus here is to demonstrate DevOps possibilities. So we will work with a simple app but a reasonably complex deployment architecture. Prerequisites for this are quite simple. Google Gemini CLI, Terraform, G Cloud CLI on your desktop. Let's launch Gemini CLI first. Step one, application. Create a simple Python Flask web app that displays Hello GKE. You may use Python virtual environment. Once done, clearly state step one complete in bold and wait for instructions for next step. Let's paste this prompt and hit enter. Okay, and now it will ask for few permissions. For example, it is trying to create a virtual environment. Say yes to all of that. And uh, there is a app.py file. Step 2 Containerization. Create a Docker file for this app. Do not try to build Docker image yet. Once done, clearly state step 2 complete in bold and wait for instructions for next step. Our second prompt Create a Docker file. So let's begin. It's crafting the Docker file. Asking for a permission, writing to requirements.txt, creating a Docker file. So, step two is complete, and here you can see it has used port 5000. Uh, we don't want that. Make a change. Application must run on port 80. Hit enter. It is going to make some changes. So it makes a change to app.py and to Docker file. So it's done with these changes. At this point, this is what a project DevOps directory looks like. Step three, cloud build. Use Google Cloud Build to build the Docker image. Do not try to build it locally. Assume G Cloud CLI is installed and authenticated. You may use it for this purpose. You can retrieve the GCP project ID from the G Cloud configuration. Once done, clearly state step 3 complete in bold and wait for instructions for next step. Our next step is to build Docker image. And we are going to build it on GCP, not locally. Okay, so gcloud will be used from command line to initiate building that image on GCP. So allow this command to proceed. And now the image is being built. So let's wait for a while for this to complete. And we will fast forward here as this takes some time. So step three is complete. And now if we go to Google Cloud Console under Artifact Repository, you can see the image. Create Terraform scripts configuration files. Generate Terraform scripts configuration files to create the infrastructure and deploy this app later to GCP. The Terraform configuration must define the following resources. A private regional GKE cluster that does not require external IP addresses for its components, a cloud NAT service, 
that GKE cluster components may use for outbound access, a load balancer service with an external IP address that routes incoming traffic to Kubernetes components. The node pool has auto-scaling enabled, minimum of two and maximum of five nodes. Each node is a E2 media machine. Node boot disk should not be should not use SSD and not more than 30 GB disk space. Do not try to initialize or apply the Terraform script yet. Once done, clearly state step four complete in bold and wait for instructions for next step. Before we proceed, let us save our chat conversation up to this point. So slash chat save step three and hit enter. Okay. Now we can move on to our next step. Paste our prompt, which is to generate Terraform scripts configuration. Hit enter. And a Terraform directory is being created. So say yes to that. Next we have variables.tf followed by main.tf allow that and deployment.tf allow that and next service.tf so step 4 is complete at this point in google cloud console we verify that we do not have any kubernetes clusters and no load balancer and there is no cloud NAT, right? Now let's take a look at the Terraform files that have been generated, okay? So starting with main.tf and here we should see various resources configured, okay? Right, so you can see uh, Lot of resources configured here, mainly around GKE, which is Google Kubernetes Engine. And let's take a look at service.tf, right? So the port to be used is defined here. Variables.tf, right? Project ID, region, cluster name, and so on. And deployment.tf. Okay, so these are the files that were generated. Now you could make changes to this configuration. For example, we prompt that please make sure that the disk size in GB is 15 for node config and the change is made. And if you exit Gemini CLI and launch it again, you can always resume a conversation that you had saved, right? and continue so for example here we prompt that please make sure that the node locations for the regional gke cluster are explicitly set to only two specific zones right and we provide those zone names and accordingly the changes are being made step 5 deploy app to gcp use terraform to deploy the app to gcp using the scripts generated earlier Output the public URL of the application after deployment. Assume Terraform is installed. Once done, clearly state step 5 complete in bold. Now we are ready to deploy the application to GCP. Okay, so use Terraform to deploy the app to GCP. Okay, so Terraform init, allow that. And Next, we should see Terraform apply with auto approve. And this will take some time. So we will fast forward wherever necessary. Okay, so you can see a VPC being created. Right? So there are many resources to create. Okay, now it wants to execute Terraform output hyphen JSON. Allow that. 
Okay, it apparently faced some problems, so it self-correcting. Remember that whenever it faces some trouble, it makes appropriate changes and uh, proceeds again, right? So which is what it is doing now. All right, making change to service.tf and again Terraform apply. All right, modifying, correcting the service, and it says the public URL of the application is so and so, right? So step five is complete. Now, if we copy this particular IP address and go to the browser, we should be able to see our application, right? Paste that HTTP. That's our application, which is being served from GKE, right? Great. So if we go to Google Cloud Console and under Kubernetes Engine clusters, right? So that's the cluster which has been deployed. GKE Hello App Cluster, right? So let's click on that. And you can examine the cluster basics. So default node zones are as shown. There are two of them. Total size is four, right? So that is, there are four nodes. This is on expected lines, okay? And there is control plane networking, cluster net networking information. You can examine all of that. Let's scroll up a bit. Go to the node section and you will see a node pool, which is primary node pool, right? So number of nodes four, two per zone, and the machine type is E2 medium, right? So that was part of our prompt. And these are the nodes, right? You can examine them further if you would like to. Now, under network connectivity, we go to cloud router and you will see GKE router, okay? Let's click that. That's router overview. And if you scroll down, you'll see cloud NAT gateway, right? GKE NAT. And that's a cloud NAT. All right, and if you hit that load balancing menu, you should see a load balancer. Right? So that's our load balancer, which has been deployed. So it has one target pool with four instances. Right, and that IP address, the port is actually the IP address of our application, which is essentially the IP address of the load balancer. And that is how we reach our application. Right. So the target has four instances. That's our application. At this point, we can save our chat conversation with slash chat save step five. All right, and quit. You will see some interaction summary. Step six, tear down infrastructure. Destroy all resources provisioned by the current Terraform configuration in GCP. Once done, clearly state step six complete in bold. Launch Gemini again. And we will restore the last chat conversation we saved. Right. And then proceed to destroy all the infrastructure because we no longer need it. So destroy all resources provisioned by the current Terraform configuration and so on. Hit enter. Say yes to Terraform destroy. And this will take some time. So we will fast forward where necessary. Okay, so waiting for all that 
infrastructure to go away and you can see eight resources destroyed step six complete so th there's no application at the application url and in google cloud console you will see there is no gke cluster and there's no custom vpc network and the load balancer is gone and cloudnat does not exist so we can quit now right so that's it